Are you tired of instant ramen every night? Or the same food at the cafeteria every day? Do you want to make your own meals and try something completely different? Hi, this is Steve from College Express and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to make grocery shopping easy and affordable. Alright, before we even get to the grocery store, there are a few things we need to take care of first. First off, you have to decide on a budget. You can't be spending $150 every time you go grocery shopping. Think of like a price range you would be comfortable with, say like $70 to $80 every time, and try not to go over that. Once you have a budget figured out, it's time to figure out how much time you actually have to prepare these meals. If you're a person that's very on the go and don't really have time to actually sit down and make something, look into more pre-made meals. They will be a bit more expensive, but they will save you time. But on the other hand, if you do have the time, I would suggest learning some simple recipes and then devising your list on ingredients on how to prepare those meals. With all that said and done, now it's time to make a list. With your budget and your time frame in mind, it's time to think of foods that would fit these parameters. Make sure to balance out these foods, however. You don't want too many of one thing. Don't forget to get the non-perishable items as well. That's gonna come in handy once your regular grocery list is done. If you don't know what to put on your grocery list, we've come up with one for you. It's in the article linked in the description below. It has some great choices for college students on a budget. We've all made this mistake once or twice before. Do not shop hungry. You are gonna spend way more money than you intended to if you shop on an empty stomach because everything's just gonna look great. Especially when you're going down aisle to aisle. You should do that on the first time going grocery shopping, but you really should avoid the aisles because it tricks your brain into buying items that you don't need that are also high in sodium, sugars, and preservatives. I would recommend you stay on the perimeter of the store where all the healthy items are. The only time I would say go down the aisles is when you're looking for basic cooking supplies such as sugar, flour, baking soda, and spices to cook with. You're going to need those for a lot of recipes. Another helpful tip I would recommend is to compare meat prices. Prepackaged meat will always be cheaper, but you could always get a good deal at the butcher counter as well. Once that's all said and done, and you have everything you need, it's time to just double check your cart with your list and make sure you have enough items and food for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Yes, we know we're all going to snack around midnight. If you decide to go to the same grocery store every week, I would recommend going up for a rewards program. That'll also help you save some money and you get some good deals through the rewards app or the rewards card that the grocery store could offer. And once you're home, it's time to organize everything. Make sure to get everything to the pantries, into the fridge, and whatnot. If you can and you have the freezer space, I would 100% recommend freezing as much as you can because it'll keep it fresh and the food will last a lot longer. I also recommend you pick up some Tupperware because it'll help with leftovers and keep them fresh for the next day. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification. 